Hey, it's been a while. Time for another look. Um, I'm such in the habit of my skincare that I just like dumped my primer into my hands. Um, don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I feel like more of the product just stays on your hands. Like, never apply product with your hands. It's, it'll just never be a good time. Um, but it's kind of too late now. <laughs> um, so face all primed and then let's get the eyes primed. I've been using the, I'm going to say it wrong, the Lorac, um, eye primer. Is this what the YouTube people do to get it to focus? I don't know. I don't watch YouTube people. Um, but I'm obsessed with the Kat Von D concealer brush. So I'm going to use that with it. This stuff kind of doesn't come out great. Um, I like it better than the Urban Decay one right now. Even though that's been my jam since I started doing makeup. And I like to go all the way up to my brows because you never know. <laughs> that's usually all the way where it ends up going. Okay, eyes all primed. And I'm going to start with the orange from my favorite palette, the Makeup Revolution one. And I'm going to use this little dude. Oh, I can't get to my coffee. I have my phone set against my coffee. That's kind of dumb. Okay. And as usual, got to try to get these angles to where you can see this. But get lots of pigment on your brush. And I know I said it before, but like the Makeup Revolution palettes are like mad cheap and they're really nice. Look at that. Look at it go. Nice and pumpkin-y. Just how we like it. And then with, well like pack it in first. Getting ahead of myself. Pack it all in there where you want it. You can do it like in the crease, you can do it above the crease, wherever you feel right for your eye shape. And then without getting more on the brush, Blend it down in. Usually, this is the first time that I've done my makeup on here, or like pretty much in general. I never do my eyes first. I don't know why I'm doing my eyes first. Um, I usually do my face first. I usually do my whole foundation. So this is weird. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but we're giving it a whirl. We're doing it. Um. Cause I usually do like underneath my eyes too, but I don't want to do that till after I have my foundation and everything on. Let me get the other eye in there. I'm, I'm doing okay with angles today. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I look like the Chuck E. Cheese mouse today, but oh well. Get it all packed in. I have it like above my crease. Like, I don't know bones, but like right where like your eye bone is, <laughs> your brow bone, that was it eye bone yeah your eye bone put it right in the eye bone crease guys that's how you do it this is how you make up tutorial this is why I don't do YouTube I'm gonna complain about being on YouTube every time I post and it's too quiet but I already got booted off of Instagram well not booted off but yell that for having Satyricon play in the back of one of my videos oh well it got blocked in three countries Like before, Satyricon, sponsor me. Okay, I'm gonna pack a little bit more in this eye. My eye bone. And then you could always add more later too, but I'm gonna add some more colors in there. Next we do black. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the black from the Kat Von D Fetish palette just cause I like her black a little more than the Makeup Revolution one just cause it's, it has more pigment to it. It's a meatier color. The other one, not so meaty. And then I'm gonna take that and go like right below where the orange starts. I don't know if that made any sense. 
but you can see where I'm putting it. <laughs> I'm not super worried about tapping off the extra from my brush just because I didn't do my face yet. And I don't want to completely cover that orange, so I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep it controlled like right in this little crease here. And then we could blend some more orange into it. I know I've done this look before, but I didn't take a video of it, but I really liked how it came out, so I guess we're doing it again. Yeah, like I had an idea and I just remembered I've done this look before. <laughs> oh, that one got a little rowdy. Plus, no one's eyes are the same. I think this is my squintier one. So it's gonna look off. I don't know. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend more orange into it. I'd get closer to my mirror, but I feel like that one, yeah, <laughs> doesn't do well for recording. So what I do is I put the two colors down, then blend the first one back in, and then go back in with the second one. So that way they kind of intertwine, I guess. But whatever works for you, for your blending. Okay, then I'm going to take my little blending brush and blend it a little bit more. Just so I have a brush with no pigment on it. I wear glasses and I can't get super close to my mirror, so maybe I'll put my glasses on and it'll be a whole mess. Who knows? Um, I'm actually going to take the same brush because it's like a nice, like flat, fluffy one. And I'm going to take cuffs from the fetish palette and put on my lid. I get a lot of that on there. Um, hmm, hang on. I'm going to go in with concealer first. I don't always do this, but like, I don't know. It makes it nice sometimes. So I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D white concealer. And I'm going to use the brush too, the concealer brush from Kat Von D. And I'm just gonna dot it on each, that way you don't get too much product and make a mess. And then keep it focused mainly in the center and then just kind of fade it out on the sides. Even though it's a dark silvery gray that I'm putting here, it'll help brighten it a little bit. I just dropped my brush and lost some color. And pack that on there. The silver is so pretty. Okay, and then after I have my lid, I'm going to go back in with the black, just to kind of clean it up a little bit and make it neater. Um, if I could find that same brush again. The little one. It would be cool if I had one even smaller than this, just because my face is so tiny, but I'll get one eventually. And then 
I need to use a different brush to go back in with my orange. Just because there's black and silver and whatnot on that other one. I like the brushes from like palettes a lot. I think they're really good. Um, like this one's from I think Naked Heat, maybe. Yeah. And the ABH Modern Renaissance <laughs> Modern Renaissance one is one of my favorite brushes to use and one of my favorite palettes. And also the brush from Naked Smoky with that little end on it. Really nice. Okay, and then we could blend this out more once like full face is on. But from for now, I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just kinda get any fallout. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't <laughs> really see if there's any. Oh, there's not much. I didn't do bad. <laughs> um hmm. I didn't do foundation yesterday, so I don't know if I want to do it today. Sometimes I get on kicks where like I'll just do like concealer or not even concealer, like just I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what I'm feeling. Um, but I think I'm gonna do foundation today. Um, I'm gonna use I'm out of my Lancome one, but I do have the sample from when I first tried it <laughs> and before I bought the whole thing, so I'm just gonna do this before I can get a new one. I work right at Ulta, so I could just pick one up, but you know, it's lazy. If I can get it out, there we go. Whole struggle. Oh! <laughs> well. And I just use the Real Techniques little beauty blender. I started using beauty blenders again for a while. I was on a kick of only using a brush, like this NYX one I really liked for foundation. But I changed it up and I am back to using a sponge. Make sure to take a Q-tip with a uh, rubbing alcohol to any facial piercings to get all the makeup off when you're done. And I'm gonna use, I'm out of my shape tape too, the short tip, <laughs> tart shape tape concealer is probably my favorite. And I've been out for a little bit. And it's really nice mixing it with the light one too if you're pale. I'm half Italian, but I'm kinda pale, kinda mad pale but I do not burn in the sun, so that's cool. Um, there we go. I'm also currently out of powder, but I noticed with the Lancome Tiant Udol, or however you say it, uh, foundation, I don't like powdering. Oh, there's my speaker. I don't like powdering my face because it looks nice just with setting spray, I've noticed. Which, that doesn't work for every foundation with me. Okay, get the concealer all blended in, and then I'm just gonna setting spray my face to kind of set it. Well, obviously, um, running long this too. I run out of like all my makeup at the same time. I've noticed. Um, brows next, and I'm going to use. Uh oh, I had everything all organized, and my brow pomade is not here. Well, I guess I am doing contouring first. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do contouring first. Um, but since I do have to split my videos in two anyway, I'm going to stop it here and find my brow pomade. <laughs> <laughs> 